people from all over the country, in different states, who want to especially welcome you here today. I want to thank the confirmation classes for your letters. Um, just want to share a few excerpts from them. Part of the confirmation program is to uh, have a retreat and classes and also to write a letter to a bishop. Dear Bishop, I want to develop more deeply my personal relationship with Jesus to really follow in the way of Christ. I'm 17 years old and finding life to be very hard. So many challenges and changes in my life. The mystery of death in our family this past year. I need the Holy Spirit. I pray for a prayerful and charitable heart. I like that. I pray for a prayerful and charitable heart. My grandparents have been very involved in the Catholic Church and been a great model to me on my journey. I'm trying to discern whether it be a lawyer, a family counselor, or a politician. I need some help in that. <laughs> my sponsor has been a big help to me on the faith journey. Now, every year, I get uh, hundreds of letters, and five years ago, a young lady from Navarino, from St. Lawrence Navarino, wrote a letter, and she said, uh, Dear Bishop, and she talked about her family and confirmation. Last paragraph. My sisters and I have been talking about whether or not you and Bishop Rickon read all of our letters. <laughs> if you read this letter to the end, I want you to say in your homily, moon doggy. <laughs> so I worked in moon doggy three times in my homily. At this time of year, there's a lot of uh, sports going on, NFL draft, the NBA tournament, uh, hockey, and all of those uh, professional teams have a game plan. They've got a process on how to win the Super Bowl or the World Series or the Stanley Cup. They all have a game plan. And surely we, as Christians, should have a game plan. And uh, the one I use in my life, I stole from John Wooden, a basketball coach, UCLA, 10 national championships, absolutely incredible, 10, not one or five or two, 10 national championships. When he was in eighth grade, his dad gave him a little card and a two dollar bill, eighth grade, Joshua. John, here's a game plan for life. He took that game plan, he lived it, shared with thousands of basketball players, now it's in a book called A Game Plan for Life. Billions of copies have been sold. Here's a game plan. Number one, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. You and I are made to the image and likeness of God, a God of love, a God of compassion, a God of forgiveness. We can't do that on our own. We simply can't be that loving or compassionate and forgiving. We need the Holy Spirit. We need that branch. We need that vine to be attached to the branch to give us life. Be true to yourself. Number two, Make each day your masterpiece. April 29th will never come um, again. That life is a gift. My niece was given 17 years, my brother 48 years. Our time was precious. We have to use our time well. The Latin for that is uh, carpe diem, seize the day. Make the best use of every opportunity that comes our way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite you, and I hope you can promise this to me, I'm gonna invite you to um, Every week, God gives us 168 hours, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, seven times 24, even according to math, comes out 168. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to give back to the Lord one of those 168 hours, Sunday Mass. I'm going to ask you to do that. On the weekend here in Green Bay, 30% of our Catholics go to church on the weekend. <laughs> They do not give back to the Lord one of 168 hours. I'm going to beg you to do that. I'd also ask you to, do, uh, to give the Lord two minute, 10 minutes 10 minute slots. Every day we get 144 10 minute slots. To give back two 10 minute slots, 20 minutes. And the pastor of the conference said, don't ask for 20 minutes, ask for five minutes. I'll take five minutes every day to stay connected to the vine. Number three, help others. The big word in our Mass today is F-O-R. This is my body, my blood given for you. It's all about service. 
uh, Thursday night, Deacon Steve and Tony Picker and a group of people got together to have a fundraiser for an organization called Whatsoever You Do. It's all about service. It's about living the spiritual and corporal works of mercy. Be for others. Serve. Number four in this game plan for life. Drink deeply from good books. John's Gospel, Isaiah the prophet. Please read Isaiah chapter 43. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I have called you by your name and you are mine. You are precious in my sight and I love you. If I buy that, my life has changed. You are precious in my sight and I love you. Millions of people do not believe they're loved. Millions of people do not believe that. Drink deeply from good books. Number five in this game plan for life. Make friendship a fine art. Greatest gift in life is friendship. Uh, in, our, in our theology, we call grace, amicitia dei, friendship with God, begun in baptism, nurtured in Eucharist, strengthened in confirmation. If you've got one friend in your life, you are blessed. If you tell me you got two friends in life, incredible. If you tell me you got three friends, you're lying. <laughs> Friendship is very precious and rare. It demands time and talk, trust, friendship. All about friendship. Make friendship a fine art. The last two uh, plans for John Wooden, number, five, number six, uh, pray for guidance. Life is tough. You've got big decisions to make. I've got big decisions to make uh, in life. Uh, questions about life and death, abortion, capital punishment, or uh, economic, political issues. We need, we need wisdom. We need courage. We need insight on the journey. Pray for guidance every day. Then number seven, give thanks for your blessings. We are a blessed people, a free country, Family, friends, just incredible. I take it for granted too much. We can't do that. Uh, last Sunday I was down in uh, Madison on the belt line, the 18 and 12 belt line, and a turkey came across the road and I smashed the turkey. You know? Uh, I think, thank you, Lord, I didn't hurt anybody. Killed the turkey. But, it, <laughs> but he wasn't too happy, but. Uh, you know, that the fact that we uh, are so blessed with health and providence. So, that's the game plan. I'll guarantee you this. You, if you live that game plan, you're going to have a real good life. I'll guarantee you that. I'm going to ask now for those who are to be confirmed, but please stand. I'm going to ask you to uh, renew your baptismal promises this morning, which are made by your parents and godparents when you're baptized. So I ask you, do you reject Satan?